we know that insurance companies are not going to pay our clients fair compensation until that insurance company has its back against the wall. In, in some parts of life, there's winning, there's losing, and there are gray areas in between. Uh, in the matters that we handle, there are only two possible results. One, you win. Two, you lose. All of the attorneys in our firm are partners, and that is extremely important. I'll tell you why that's so. That partner is going to know the judge. That partner is going to know the system and how it works and how to get things done. You're talking about maybe a hundred years of collective wisdom. A firm that consists of one or two attorneys doesn't have that collective wisdom. One of the lessons that they used to teach uh, in law school is that you can't become emotionally involved with your clients. And I wasn't there that day. I never learned that lesson. And frankly, it's a lesson that I don't think any lawyer should ever learn. Our clients are not people of significant means. They don't have the funds to prosecute a case on their own. We know that. We prosecute those cases for them. We spend whatever it takes to prosecute a case for a client. The only criteria that we have for a client is that we can connect with them, that they need help, and that we believe that we can provide it. There's not one attorney in my office who's not in court almost every day of the week, on trial all the time, we're in front of the judges in the counties of New York and on Long Island and Westchester every day of the week. When I try a case, I understand that winning is to preserve my client's dignity and his ability to live his life as a real person, as a whole person. The feeling of winning is a tremendous rush, uh, and it's not a rush that, that satisfies you as a lawyer. It's a rush that you've done something to really make a difference in your client's life.